talk to you today briefly about jog contouring. I've had quite a few clients approach me lately about wanting to have a treatment for their jawline. They want to make it sharper, more defined, more contoured. Well, how can we achieve that? Well, let's talk about a couple of different ways. Sometimes clients, they come in with a complaint that they are very specific about, i.e. the jawline. However, as we age, a part of the process of aging is that we lose the natural volume and fat to the mid portion of our face. And this causes a dissension of the tissues and fat from being upright and going more downward. As that happens, you'll start to see sagging skin or jowling that can happen along the jawline. This really bothers clients and thus brings them in wanting to hear about treatment options that will help to define the jawline. Sometimes I recommend to fix the jawline or to help it look a little better, we need to lift the tissues of the mid face or the cheek region. Because if you put the volume back where you have lost it due to the process of aging, you'll have a more upright lift. So think about it in terms of a building a building. The first thing you see on the construction is they put a frame up in a scaffold. That is the basis of your building being constructed. And everything on top of that scaffold or structure is going to be supported by the beams, the wood, and whatever is used underneath. Same concept applies to the face. So if you're losing volume due to aging, you're losing your scaffold. So you come to see me, and if I think putting back volume or rebuilding that scaffold will help to lift up the mid portion of your face and thus cause a secondary lift and uh, contour of your jawline, then we may go there. However, sometimes the volume in the mid portion of the face is fine and clients just have a little jowling or just a very subtle irregularity along their jawline or they just want it to look sharper and more defined. So then you can use something like filler. Filler is a great alternative to help define, sculpt, and contour the jawline. I used to, I like to use it starting um, underneath the corner of the mouth and run it by and up the jawline. So we contour it from here all the way up to give the most sharpest and well-defined and contoured result. Now, this look and the approach is different for men and women and also depending on how much laxity that may be residing in the jawline will determine how much or filler is used or the approach that is used under. Sometimes helping to correct the chin, bringing it down or forward or a little more broad for men uh, will also help to define the jawline a little more. So for women, we have more of a V shape to our face. So contouring the chin, making it come down and forward a little more in a V pattern, if it's appropriate, will help to pull the jawline, thus contour it better from the side and the front, giving you a more even appearance. And for men who tend to have more of a square jaw, we may broaden that line out a little bit more to help contour their jawline and give a more masculine appearance. Other than traditional hyaluronic acid-based fillers, you can use something like uh, Sculpture or Radiesse, uh, which is a calcium-based filler that simulates collagen that also works well to contour the jawline. Sometimes I like to mix those with platelet-rich plasma, uh, which is when I take your blood, spin it in a centrifuge, separate out your plasma, mix it with the filler, to give you more of a contour defined look that lasts longer and also helps to build collagen over time. So these are some different ways using injections can help with defining the jawline, uh, whether you're looking to replace volume loss in the mid portion of the face, or you're simply wanting to provide contouring and more definition along the jawline that's more localized, that will help to give clients the uh, optimal look and outcome that they seek. In addition to filler, other treatment options that will help to define and contour and sculpt the jawline better include PDO threads. You can use PDO threads to do a jaw lift contour, or you can simply run the smaller threads down underneath the entire jawline and do what I call like a Nefertiti lift, 
or tightening of the jawline. And the small threads just help to pull the tissues back underneath the jawline, causing it to look sharper, more contoured, and becomes a great alternative because it also stimulates collagen. And we like to do treatment options that will help to promote collagen stimulation and elastin stimulation because those are the things that will help to provide longevity to treatment and thus uh, optimal results. Another treatment option to help contour and sharpen the jawline includes uh, radio frequency with microneedling devices. Those types of devices use a um, combination of radio frequency and microneedling, which uh, provides some collagen stimulation by thus um, having micro damage to the skin. Now, I say micro damage because essentially in order to promote collagen and elastin, you need to have the body respond to uh, the healing process. So some devices that we use promote localized skin damage, which will allow for the healing process to kick in and thus the end result includes collagen stimulation. These devices are great because they lift and tighten. They're often not very painful, uh, minimal downtime, and they provide great results that are lasting for uh, long periods of time, typically longer than even some of your filler treatment options. Oh, did you find this content helpful? Do you have any questions? If so, feel free to comment below. I will do my best to answer and address all your questions regarding this treatment approach. Uh, thank you for watching and continue to follow here for more content.